Hello YouTube, it's uh, April 30th, 2020, and I made my first uh, gold purchase, my first purchase, um, bought my first two gold coins in April of 2019, so I've been stacking for one year now, so I wanted to talk about what I think are the positives and negatives about stacking or the things I enjoy and uh, dislike about stacking. So what is the number one thing that I enjoy about stacking? That would have to be going to the coin store. And when I save up enough money or, or when I have enough money to make a purchase and I'm headed to the coin store, man, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what they got there. You know, it's like the saying, a uh, kid in a candy store, that's how I feel, like a kid in a candy store. And I really enjoy that experience. So, you know, that's why I don't like to buy online because that experience is part of, you know, what I enjoy about stacking. I mean, it's, it's probably, well, like I said, it's the number one thing that I enjoy about stacking. Um, as well as, you know, actually owning a piece of gold, you know, that's probably number two. I mean, the fact that I own an ounce of gold or, you know, several ounces of gold, it's exciting. You know, gold has, you know, the history and it has the symbolism of wealth and all that. It's just, you know, something really I never expected to own, you know, like when I was going through my 20s and I was living paycheck to paycheck and, you know, especially those broke times when I was... You know, eating top ramen you know this 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 is definitely something you know I never expected to own and, and it's really awesome to own gold and a, a, a big silver bar like this I mean it's only 10 ounces but it's, it's a nice chunk of silver here so that is probably number two on the list of things that I like about stacking uh, number three would have to be the storage of wealth and the, the security it gives you, you know, to know that I've got this here and that uh, if I had to, I could sell this and have some cash. You know, if I had to make a run for it, if I got into some trouble, which I had before, and, uh, you know, head for Mexico or something, you know, I got some portable cash here. I mean, I got real cash as well, and, you know, I even got uh, some foreign currency here, including uh, this asshole, but uh, that is definitely one of the things I enjoy about stacking, and, well, also enjoy you know the whole you the whole, having it as a hobby and, and the whole YouTube you know community of stackers that's a nice part of it too so those are the things I enjoy about stacking so what do I dislike about stacking well number one would have to be storage you know and this is a problem for me as a that I'm, I'm living as a transient here in the states and you know staying in my truck and getting a hotel on my days off you know I'm just hauling my gold and silver around in this lockbox which is not a good thing you know I'm gonna make it a priority to get a safe deposit box as soon as this pandemic ends and you know it's, I gotta do it you know this, this goes to the prepper thing you know I'm not preparing for the bad things that could happen right now like my truck could catch on fire or I could have an accident and then what you know, I could lose it all, you know, my truck could get broken into, you know, this, this is not a good situation here, and I'm going to make it a priority to get a safe deposit box, so that's the number one thing I dislike about it. Uh, number two would probably be would have to be, uh, you know, the weight. This, this is especially for gold stackers, you know, it's a long wait between purchases, especially now with, with the price of gold shooting up. And I'm sure silver stackers 
some silver stackers out there don't make a lot of money and, and they, they have the same thing but really for gold stackers man unless you're rich you got a, a, a weight between purchases that can be frustrating you know uh, it's not much of a downside but I don't think there are much many downsides to stacking really um, you know there is you know the worrying too about like like this round right here I worry sometimes is this could this be counterfeit I could test it but uh, you know, there's always that worry too or what will the spot price do? Will it drop? Will it go up? Uh, there's a little bit of downside in that, but mostly there isn't much of a downside to stacking. It's pretty enjoyable. It's a, a nice hobby. There's a nice uh, community. And, um, you know, it's definitely nice that... Uh, I've accumulated this wealth here. I haven't reached my goal, but that's okay. Um, I'm still having fun. And whether or not I ever do reach my goal, I have accumulated a nice uh, chunk of change here. And when the day comes that I have, or that I want to sell, um, I'll have some cash for the things I need. So those are some of the positives and negatives, things that I enjoy and dislike about stacking. And I'll probably think of some more later, but uh, that's it for now. Uh, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.